the mantle inspection process is a two-part process when we're post-processing all of our uh, scans, uh, both in the field and in the office. So when we get back to the office, we bring all of our scans into our network database. And as we saw before, integrating it into our GIS collector to see all the structures, we are then able to identify ones that are complete, which is identified by green here on the screen, and ones that are incomplete, which is red on the screen. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and select on an incomplete uh, sanitary sewer structure here. And once we do that, it ties into the inspection record um, you know, associated with every structure. So these inspection records are all developed from, uh, or they're originally based off of the National Association of Sewer Service Contractors. They developed a standardized format for coding sanitary sewer, well, sewer pipes in general, as well as manhole structures, service laterals, um, and everything. So it gives us a standardized baseline for all the different inspection features that uh, some of our clients may want. And then within GIS, we have the capability of customizing that into a particular format, whether there's specific preferences that our clients may request on any given project, depending on the focus. So this is just the raw viewer. Within it, we can integrate uh, several additional features such as measurements. So we're gonna turn on the 3D objects and that allows us to see our pipe sizes, as well as some of our other um, indicators throughout the structure that help us code and kind of identify different components of the structure. Um, so right here, uh, what we're looking at is we have just a general indicator line, uh, which allows us to uh, identify different structural components. So that's just the transition between uh, the cone portion of the manhole to the wall. Um, and so that's just something if a client is trying to identify different component depths for repair purposes, it gives us that good baseline to then pull those measurements from and develop unit quantities as far as repair materials or anything um, that we're looking at from a more detailed aspect uh, later down the road. But um, additionally, we have our pipes marked. Um, and so we do use a color code system just to identify out pipe, which is the orange. And then we use that turquoise for kind of all in pipes or any uh, unknown connections. Um, and with that, there is, uh, since this is a geometric data based um, scan, there's measurements associated with that. So we're able to select on the graphic and it will bring up a dimension. So this is actually a 22 inch vitrified clay pipe. Um, so using that geometric data, our technicians are able to get, you know, very precise measurements on all of the um, kind of components within the structure from pipes, whether they're round to, you know, you sometimes have your rectangular um, outfalls, anything like that we're able to integrate that all into our inspection attributes and provide a very detailed um, overview of each structure. Um, we are able to, if we go to the orbit view of the um, window, we can actually zoom in and out and pan kind of all around through this structure. So you're able to fully understand that, um, the makeup of that structure and it's you know, kind of geometric layout. So it's not just a 2D image, you're able to kind of fully access this from that you know, 360 degree dimension um, that it was taken in. So uh, it provides a lot of extra data and kind of extra understanding for these structures beyond just seeing a flat image. So highly beneficial to a lot of different project opportunities out there.